Let us teach the New Testament. First Epistle of John, Lesson 15, 1 John 5, verses 18 through 21. In this last of 15 lessons on the New Testament book of 1 John, we shall deal with these 10 topics. We know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are from God, and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding, so that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Whilst 1 John 5, 18-20 has been well preserved across the centuries, some early copyists thought they could make the text more clear. Thus, in verse 18, from the 4th century, three manuscripts read, protects him, whilst others read, protects himself. In verse 20, from the 5th century, some manuscripts replace the conjunction de with kai. Both conjunctions translate and. From the same century, other manuscripts read gave instead of has given. From the 4th century, some replace we may know with we know. And from the 5th century, some manuscripts replace know him who is true with know the true God. And in verse 21, from the 4th century, some manuscripts alter yourselves from a neuter pronoun, which agrees with the neuter noun children, to a masculine pronoun. It is hard to know which the original form was, yet the meaning remains the same. Many of the first readers of 1 John knew John himself, the Gospel of John, and his teaching, his vocabulary, and his expressions. Verses 5, 18 through 21, as the final section of the epistle, draws three reasonable conclusions from all the preceding verses. Please read through these five definitions of key words from the section. Whilst the New Testament never denies the reality of the devil or of spirits parading as gods, Christians are neither to fear them nor to worship them. The only real authentic God is the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. In Greek grammar, when two singular personal substantives nouns, participles, or adjectives, have the same case, have only one definite article, the, and are connected by and, both substantives refer to a same person. Thus, in 1 John 5.20, if the antecedent of he is Jesus Christ, then he is both true God and eternal life. This seems to be the case because in 1 John 1 verse 2, he states, the eternal life was with the Father, and was made manifest to us. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you teachable points from the passage. For example, three reasonable conclusions. Seven points about God. 
Seven Points About Jesus Christ And Three Points About the Evil One If need be, teach the historic Christian doctrine of knowing God. Christian believers experience a constant sense of the presence of God with them. Through confession of their sins and by acts of worship, they experience a heightened sense of joy. God works in them a conscience to discern right from wrong and truth from error. They learn both to speak to God and to receive replies from Him. By reading or hearing messages from the New Testament scriptures, they increase their understanding of how God works and of how to think, to believe, and to behave in the world. Over time, the Holy Spirit transforms their character and grants them ability to speak about God and to serve one another. After someone or several have read or recited 1 John 5, 18-21, in small gatherings or house churches, pose queries such as these and let anyone reply. What have you learnt from this passage about God? About Jesus? About sinning? About the evil one? About eternal life? Whilst preaching, teaching, or leading, recommend ways in which to apply the passage, putting it into practice. For example, invite everyone to form small groups and to pray one for another, thanking God for eternal life, asking Jesus to defeat Satan in each one's home and personal experience. Plan with believers to cleanse their homes of idols, pagan symbols, false religious books, and pornographic materials and software. Arrange for them to come burn all such objects in a bonfire. Download documents for this lesson at onejohn.cura.download Please leave comments or queries or write to me at the download site. I shall try to reply to you by email or in a video.